you're hurting me. Oh, uh, I'm hurting you. <laughs> it wasn't always like this. Farmers actually lived here before. I mean, I know. For real? <laughs> I kick and flip repeatedly in an embarrassing attempt to get up from the ground, but to no avail. This reminds me of something. I'm Deterit, and welcome back to Where Winter Crows Go. Um, ah, yes, okay. I'm trying to remember. We got a book about crows from Crow, so that we didn't have to leave the cabin. And we also found out that he is conspiring with that crow that made us crash our car. Isn't that so amazing? Time to learn about crows. Is there... Corvus. Corvus, an especially well known genius composed of medium to large sized birds, which make up a third of the species in the Corvidae family. Oh no, this is. No, that's not a person. The most commonly known include ravens, rooks, and crows. Okay. While 133 species of Corv. <laughs> Gosh. Corvidae have been discovered to this day. Only around 49 are included inside the Corvius taxonomy. Ugh, oh, these words are gonna be awful to pronounce. Going even further than that, there are approximately 36 of these species which belong to the Corv family alone. Holy sh- 36? That's- wow. I didn't think there were this many variants. Flip it to page. Crows are passerine songbirds, which are generally black in color, although exceptions have been witnessed when it comes to different species. This also applies to their sizes as well as the color of their eyes. Ah, <laughs> Interesting. Flipping more pages. The next several pages contain a detailed classification of the 30-something species of crows up to date. 36. I remember. These include their scientific names and a group of several drawings, most probably drawn by Crow himself, portraying their appearance. Can I see? Black eyes, white eyes. Come on, there's gotta be one with. <gasps> Here. White necked Crow. Overall appearance is black with a few white feathers on the base of their necks, though rarely visible. Their eyes are a distinctive crimson red. Okay, so it exists. <laughs> no, this isn't it. Oh. Oh, because the crow is fully black. Got you, got you, got you. This isn't it at all. It's completely different from the one I saw that day and the one in my dream. Yeah, I know. If anything, the most similar of them all has to be the carrion crow, but those have black eyes. It isn't a new species then. Or is it not even a crow? No, it's not. There's no other way. To get the answers I want. Mm. To get the answers I need. <gasps> I have to go outside. Oh no, not outside. I have to go outside and find that red-eyed crow. <gasps> Honestly, don't want to talk to that crow. He kind of sucks. The day ended anyways. All right, let's just say we started at day six. <laughs> I did could have rest the, read the rest of that in the last episode. I am so sorry. It's 6.30 AM. Oh no, I would never be up that early. Whoa. I put my phone back in my jacket's pocket. Last once over. Backpack. Check. Water bottle and snacks? Check. Knife? Ooh, knife? Check. Gloves? Check. I slip one of my thumbs out of the warm cover envelope, enveloping my hands and caress the wool fabric. Check. Aw, oh, I know what we were thinking about. 
Okay, I have everything. We're leaving before he wakes up? It's not gonna be good. Thank god I asked Crow yesterday to open this window a little bit so that I could get some fresh air during dinner. Oh, I know how this damn thing works. Yee! Can't leave the front door after all. He probably has the keys in his room and I'm not risking waking him up. Honestly, I wish I could have left from my room's window. But that thing is sturdier than a rock. Mistakes were made. <laughs> what did we do to our window? Oh god. Alright, let's do this. Better be quick. I can't wait for this shit to bite us in the ass. Nailed it. No time to dawdle though. I've only got a few hours until it gets dark again. What? It's the AM. AM. It's 6.30 AM. First things first, I need to find my car. Oh. Fun. It's so... quiet. It's the woods. Did you think it was going to be loud? Too quiet. This is a different background. We got lost. <laughs> I can't help but feel some kind of unsettling presence in the air. Am I being too paranoid? Nah, we're just being stupid. Look, how much longer until I find at least something? Feels too much like the first day I got here. There really isn't anything but snow and big ass trees. Uh oh! <gasps> the road! That's. The moment I arrived near the road, I spot a white metallic sheen that's all too familiar for me to mistake it. My car! Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell happened? What was that? No way. Am, are we being like... <laughs> Wait. Are we being like teleported back? Like we're just getting... Rewound or something? I try to approach my car a second time for good measure. But the moment my foot gets near the wheels, I'm sent flying to the ground once again. Huh? What the hell is going on? Okay. Careful. And like the first two attempts, I only try to put my hand near it. Near whatever the hell is preventing me from reaching my wheeled companion. Bro, oh, I don't fall this time. There's definitely something there. Something like a forest field. Isn't that interesting? I guess I was overthinking it. It's just a forest field. Well, if anything, this proves that there are paranormal things at play even more. I crouch down and hug my knees and bury my head between them. What do I do? What can I do? Go back to the cabin? <laughs> How the hell do you defeat the supernatural? With more supernatural. I should look for that crow. I'm surprised we found our car really fast. Even though my eyes are still closed, I shut them even tighter and squeeze my arms with my hands. Like a silly ritual to brace myself. Huh? Once I'm back on my feet, I spot an odd line of the snow between my feet and the car. A line I hadn't noticed before. What the? Is this the line of the forest field? Wow. I glance. This is another type of like. <laughs> keeping me here. Already, the door is locked from the inside. Or, to the end, outside. And now there's like a force field. Even if I did get outside, because, you know, escape is usually possible with these games. There's a force field. That's so cool. I glance both to my left and right. The trail in the snow keeps going farther and farther. I guess there's no way around it. Yeah, it's probably a circle. A dome. Which is weird. Can people come in it, though? Shock. Step by step, I follow the line until 
Not that far from where I'm walking, a reddish stain brings me to a dead stop. Is that dirt? Red dirt? No. It's too red to be dirt. Yeah. I move faster. And I see it. A dead deer or something. This wasn't here before. Oh. Right, right, right. A strange symbol is carved in the snow. Perhaps a snowflake? With an eye in the middle? Perhaps a star being pierced by arrows? Nah. What if it's both? It's disturbing all the same. The center looks like an open eye. The hue that's ingrained in it and its lines make them look like veins. It's unmistakable. It's unsettling. And it chills me to the core. <gasps> Blood. Of? Uh oh. This dickhead. <laughs> Hello. A mysterious crow flaps his wings and lands right in front of me, putting himself between me and the symbol. He stares. He stares so deeply into my eyes that I can I feel a shiver coming. You can't leave. No shit, Sherlock. Oh really? Yeah, I kind of figured. Is what I'd like to say, but this isn't the time to be sarcastic. You sure about that? Why? The crow glances at the symbol, then back at me. He won't let you. No, you won't let me. Because you're making him not let me, so it's technically you. I'm so... Sort of smart. <laughs> I don't need to ask him who he's talking about. Duh. Still, this bird is no saint either. If he even is a bird at all. Crow seemed to imply he looked like one. I also haven't forgotten what he told Crow yesterday. He's a liar. Okay. I've met a lot of liars. Why? He pauses, considers my question for a moment. Then he plucks the feathers on his back. Or pretends to do so. <laughs> the girl's eyes are on the symbol yet again. There is something he hopes to achieve. Really? What's that? I see. Kick him. The crow looks puzzled when I open my backpack. I don't know if this will work, but it's the best I've got. What are you about to do? I hope there's at least some bird instinct inside of him. Bro, are you about to throw? <laughs> if you tell me what he's hiding, I'll give you one whole granola bar. Oh, you mocking me, human? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Human, eh? You think I would fall for such a stupid bribe? Please tell me he actually does. A bribe? Perish the thought. Yes, this is a bribe. You better fall for it, you cryptic crooked beak. No way, he actually contemplates. I can see the granola bars reflected in his eyes. He's tempted? Really? Very tempted. But not entirely convinced. Come on, don't get your feathers in a twist. I'm just sharing a snack with a very smart bird who warned me about imminent danger is all. There's no way. One is not enough. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You're like a demon bird or something. No way. This. No. Okay, okay. I'll give you both granola bars. Happy now? Without answering, the crow pulls out the bars from my hands with a figure that he tears my glove. My guy, now if crow sees that, he's gonna be like, how did that happen to your glove? Mmm, questions. This thing in my palm makes me bring my hand close to my face. Figure, stupid bird tore my skin. God, it's like you've never eaten before. When I look back at him, he's already licking the crumbs from his beak. And not just the crumbs. A small drop of blood seems to have made it to his mouth as well. That's nice. Still not enough. Okay, greedy. What did you just say? He turns his neck in my direction. I gulp and step back. 
Behind the cabin? What's behind the cabin? Go further beyond the cabin, then head straight. Okay. You'll find your answers there. Nice. Wait. <laughs> the symbol's gone. Oh no. Why does that make me uneasy? Can't say I fully trust the bird either. But I don't have any other leads. It's just mosey. What if he wakes up and I'm not there? Hmm. There it is again. What is this feeling? I don't know. Oh, it's getting dark. This isn't good. Is this as if someone or something was watching me? Uh oh. Oh, we have to do this the like another day because it's getting dark. So yeah. Damn, yeah, it's getting darker, and there's a bunch of clouds too. I should hurry up. Oh, we're still gonna do it. Okay, fine. Crouching down as much as possible in order to avoid the windows. Better be safe than sorry. I move forward in slow but steady steps until the cabin's far enough for me to walk at a quicker pace. Uh, oh. What the heck is this? A huge mass of decayed wood surrounds the area. Everything is gloomy, hushed, disturbing. Small decrepit houses that look like they haven't been inhabited in decades. Traces of what once was a wide-ranging crop farm. Huh. Eerie, soulless, obscure, abandoned. The light has gone. A ghost town. The thing behind Crow's lab cat. La bro. <laughs> it's a ghost town, yeah. It's pretty much impossible to let go of the shock and utter disbelief I'm feeling right now. My eyes start adjusting to the scene nonetheless. Wait, is that? What I initially thought was a piece of broken wood from one of the vacant houses now starts to look more and more like a crooked sign. One of those answers gonna pop up. That'd be nice. Though the words are somewhat faded, no wonder. The sign is pretty much ancient. They're still distinguishable. Let's see what it says. Important notice. Danger zone. Do not enter. What's so dangerous about this? Due to a long bout of unprecedented winter weather, this area has been closed off to the public. By unanimous decision of the Cedarin government, an ar agricultural and urban expansion has been approved in order to migrate the farmsteads from the village, formerly known as Leyden Spring, now Winter Hollow, to the town of Beritas Falls. I think that word was mentioned before, but I forgot. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thank you for understanding. You're welcome. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I end up in a place like this? Is this a demon zone? Hell, is Crow even human? <gasps> did I piss someone off in the my, in a past life or something? No. You've got to be shitting me. If I speak too soon one more time, I swear I'm gonna punch myself. Repeatedly. Oh, it is always... Thank the heavens that it's so close by. Demon, vampire, alien, whatever the hell. I'll die frozen now if I don't get in that cabin ASAP. Dignity and plan B can wait. I run as hard as I can and head to the outside of the living room window. I'm prepared this time. I'm not going to pass out in the snowstorm. We're gonna get caught. <laughs> There's no way we left for that long. And he didn't notice. There's just no way. The current of air is so strong that I almost fall face first into the room. Into the room. I go outside, I go inside and once I manage to make the window panes meet, I lean my whole weight onto the glass. Just a little 
more. I'm so scared. <laughs> Never mind. Finally. Damn you, strong ass wind. And none of the snow got inside the cabin? Interesting. Where's Crow? <laughs> Look at you. I told you a blizzard was coming. Uh, I hope you're not talking to me. I think you know that I'm not here. I told you again and again. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. He knew. I told you. I know. But, you know, my character is programmed to not be smart. And you didn't listen. Damn. Crow grabs my wrist and pins me against the wall. Uh oh. What are we about to do? Why? Why don't you ever listen to me? I literally don't have the answer to that. Why are you so desperate to go outside? My car? But then again, I can't even approach it. Have I not been kind to you? <laughs> you actually have. Fed you? Giving you a place to stay? Mm -hmm. Why? Why do you want to leave me so bad? Ooh. He grabs me even tighter. You're hurting me. Oh, uh, I'm hurting you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny too. That's rich. Fantastic. Just great. What about when you left without saying anything? I know for a fact if I did, he would never let me leave, so... Yeah... So I'm not stupid. What about when you lied to my face, thinking I wouldn't notice? Don't cry, don't How cry. How do you think that made me feel? Don't cry. <laughs> I'm hurting you? What about what you've done to me? Dang. What about what I feel? Am I really not enough? Do you hate me that much? On the contrary, sir. Answer me! What do I have to do for you to stay? <laughs> no, 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 don't say it, don't say it. Maturity. I can feel his hands trembling on my wrist. I release myself from his grasp and I take a few steps back. Crow. Uh-oh. God damn it. It's been a while since I chose anything, though. Relationships shouldn't be built on lies. Stop trying to manipulate me. I want you to trust me. Ah. Huh. That last one sounds nice. And the, the top one sounds good, too. It's the middle one that's like... Mm. But then again, that could also, like... No, this one. You said I lied to you before, didn't I? Oh, didn't you? Well, I'll cut to the chase. You're right, I did lie. I'm a little demon, but so have you. You've lied to me many, many times about Winter Hollow being an inhabited village. Uh oh. About a bus ever coming by. About what the real danger I'm facing in this place is. Because I think it's less about the weather and more about the chit chat. From a certain talking bird. Uh oh. Yeah, see, look at that. Crow relationship shouldn't be built on lies. You've been caught. If you really truly care about me, tell me what's going on. Right now. I need to think. Oh. Honestly, so do I. <laughs> I take off my jacket and carry it on my arm. He didn't seem too worried about leaving me alone just now. Well, now that guy can leave anyway, with the hellish snowstorm outside. Sigh again. I'd better head to my room. <clears throat> Simple I saw today. A crow with red eyes. Crow himself. There's no doubt about it. The key to leaving Winter Hollow is connected to those three. Things. And I'll have to confront the situation head on if I want to escape. <sighs> Whatever happens. 
I will find a way out, unfortunately. I will survive. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like bet on it because I'm known for getting bad endings left and right, so. Oh, day seven. Figures I couldn't sleep. Well, who can blame me? With how action-packed yesterday was. I wouldn't say that. I think the, the day he screamed at us was pretty action-packed. Scratch that. With how action-packed this whole week has been. Eh. You got it. A lot has happened in a very short time. But what surprises me the most is myself. I mean, normally people would be scared and put off by Crow in this whole situation, right? Especially given how much he's lied. He even pushed me against the wall yesterday. He could have did more than that. I still wouldn't have been scared. Who's to say he won't go even further? Once again, not scared. <laughs> and yet, I didn't mind. Yeah, very true. You were the same there. Look at that. I didn't mind it one bit. He was showing me his true self, or well, the part of myself that he didn't want to show. Because I wouldn't say he's never been genuine. I was more worried about him kicking me out if I discovered all of his secrets and his relationship with the red-eyed crow. I was more hurt by the fact that he didn't trust me, lied to me even, than I was about the subject of the lie itself. What is this? But I have such strong feelings for him when it's only been a week since I met him. I've known other people for far, far longer. But I've never felt this kind of connection with anyone else. Sigh. I must be crazy. Yeah. Send me to a mental hospital. Uh oh. Are you awake? I am. I'm so glad you answered. <laughs> Yes, indeedy. Not much of a point pretending I'm not here, right? Mm hmm Could you be any more awkward? You need lessons on socialization skills. Pronto. Still, he hasn't left, so I'm probably overthinking. Did you want to ask me anything? Look, there's something really important I have to tell you. Great, I love talking. Yeah, I'll bet. Is it about yesterday? In a way. Will you let me ask questions too? Of course. He sounds anxious. I wish I could hug him right now. Really? Can you come to my room? <gasps> Don't get too excited. <laughs> Calm down. We'll talk there. I don't really want to do much talking, to be honest. Sure thing, let me get changed and I'll knock on your door once I'm ready. Thank you. You're so welcome, oh my gosh. I guess we have to talk though. Alright, let's do this. So excited. Just talk. Let's take the clothes I'm going to wear from the wardrobe. I head to the bathroom for a quick shower. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I didn't take too long. Didn't even wash my hair, so I could be faster. That shit takes forever. <laughs> After a couple minutes of mulling over silly stuff, I knock on the door. Bro? I don't want to talk, but it's fine. I'll deal with it. Come in. It's probably just the same- Oh, never mind! I thought the room was gonna be the same. <laughs> Why do I think we're gonna be the same? I'm so stupid. Whoa. Although the room is unfamiliar, I find myself comforted by the coziness of the same cabin walls I've already become so familiar with. <laughs> so cool. Oh, he paints. I see an easel over there. Or, I think that's what it's called. As expected, crow space is full of books and research papers scattered throughout his work desk, shelves, and even the floor. The desk also has a cupboard on top filled to the brim with bottles of plants, medicine, creams, and other indistinguishable vessels. Which takes me more by surprise though, the paintings covered part of, 
covering part of the wall and an easel lying against the window. I'm right. Look at that. Oh, these look amazing. I almost thought they were photos with all that detail. <laughs> Thank you. Painting is a hobby of mine. It helps me clear my head and relax, especially when I'm not feeling well. So cool. Wish I could say the same. I guess you could call it a kind of meditation. But it's a medication. It suits you. Do you like drawing too? Very much so, though I sometimes draw for research purposes too. Makes sense. Your drawings in the crow book were really good. And the crow painting? I take a few steps to get a give it a closer look. No red eyes. Instead, they're more bluish. More of a bluish black. Deep and mystic. I love it too. You're an amazing artist. Thank you. Very welcome. I'll make you one sometime, really. <laughs> I'd like that. We stay silent for a few moments, not sure how to continue the conversation. Small talk can only get you so far after all. We need to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> the tension proves to be too much for even me. So I try to break the silence. Sorry, do you mind if we get to the topic at hand? We really need to talk. Mm hmm Yeah, for sure. I was about to tell you the same thing, actually. Ready when you are, I'm all ears. Crow nods and signals me toward the bed while he sits on the desk chair. Okay. <laughs> Once you make sure I'm comfortable, he takes a deep breath. And looks me right in the eye. First things first. Is there anything you want to ask? Wait, let me let me rephrase that. Is there anything you need to ask, no matter what? Well, to be honest, there's one thing in particular that I can't get out of my mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you human? Girl audibly gasps as if <laughs> that wasn't the question he was expecting. Soon enough, however. A surprise is replaced with a sad smile. Yes. And no what? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Why? No. Well. Nah. I'm fine with it. Now it's my turn to gasp. Wait, what? How does that work? My body is pretty much the same as any other human being. With some exceptions. What is it? One of them, you can probably already guess. No. Crow's eyes are very, are a very distinctive red. And I doubt it's due to some kind of rare pigmentation. Though lots of people use color contacts nowadays. Who would willingly want to walk around all day with like, such a rare color eye? If not cosplaying. So I didn't think much of them. At first. The more I looked into his eyes though, the more I noticed a certain glow to them. A glow that made me shiver every time I felt his gaze. Mm, you were the one watching me when I went outside to meet the red-eyed crow, weren't you? <laughs> what was the point in sneaking out? Uh, that's right. Well, more accurately, the bird's eyes were watching you. I can see through the eyes of crows in Winter Hollow. That's so nice. Is that why your eyes are red? Yes. Okay, that's kind of red, not gonna lie. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> why does your answer not surprise me? What about the other thing? Knowledge? Knowledge mm -hmm. about nature. Uh -huh. As much as I can learn stuff from books, but never compared to the knowledge I can receive firsthand from the environment itself. Even if there's a deep darkness within it, even if I can't leave the area anymore. Even if I have to enter the darkness myself. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Uh oh. Why do I feel like there's something he's not telling me? You heard what I was talking about with the crow the other day, didn't you? Yeah, you guys are pretty loud. Do you remember what he said? Who could forget something like that? He said you had a blood pact. Exactly. What is that bird anyway? Some kind of demon? There were others like him too. They're red scavengers. 
demonic animals who feed on human blood and meat. No wonder the nigga was licking his beak like that. Ugh. The hairs in the back of my neck stand up. They're not feeding on you, are they? It's me you're worried about? Ah. <laughs> no, they're feeding on other humans. It's humans that I've been getting for them. Whenever they died in the snowstorms. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. You have so much food. Can't they feed on that? I'm afraid my reserves are limited. Hmm. I did get a huge supply when I moved here, though. I tried to preserve as much as I could in my pantry. I wasn't born in a hunter-gatherer village for nothing. You have a pantry? Wait, no. We can talk about that later. <laughs> Who cares? A lot of pantry. Even so... If you have that many reserves that they can eat... It's not that simple. They need humans to survive. Why not just let them die? Oh wait, blood packs are pretty serious. And as I mentioned before, I can't leave the area. It's a part of the blood pack. Are these scavengers some kind of weird vampire ghoul birds? <laughs> yes. Holy shit. Okay, now everything's starting to make sense. That bird. That bird tried to set me up. He tried to make me despise Grow so he could get his gourmet human dinner. Oh wow. Yet. For some reason, Crow was taking too long. You said one of the things they gave you was knowledge of nature. Have you learned anything else apart from what they taught you? Because no matter how almighty they might be, with their demon powers or whatever, I can't imagine this steel being good in the long term. There's only so much nature in Winter Hollow, you know. If you can even call it nature nowadays, that is. Eternal winter isn't very typical. And I imagine even the demon crows are becoming antsy with so few humans passing by. Crow clenches his fist. He doesn't elaborate. He doesn't deny anything either. Why aren't you blaming me? For what? What do you mean? Please tell me you're joking. I seriously don't know what you're talking about. I fed humans to demon birds! That's so unfortunate. I was going to do the same with you. That's also unfortunate. But he said was. <laughs> Past tense. But you didn't. No. Why? Girl bites his lips so hard I can almost taste the iron in myself. Why? I'm sure you're already tired of hearing me say this all the time, but the weather in Winter Hollow is very unpredictable. It wasn't always like this. Farmers actually lived here before. I mean, I know. For real? <laughs> Every year they would stay for three whole seasons, then leave before winter even began. Also, their cattle didn't have to withstand the cold. Of course, this was when the weather was actually normal, when the village was still called Late in Spring. Late in Spring, I see. The sign I saw yesterday was the real deal. Yeah, why well, would it be fake? What happened? No one knows. It's a mystery. What? But the demon- Believe me, I'm not fond of them either. But they're not to blame for the never-ending winter. They're just the reason why I made the pact in the first place. I just couldn't bring myself to leave late in spring. I had to know what was causing this strange weather. How it affected nature. How it possessed other animals to survive under such harsh conditions. I have never actually seen another animal. Unless... No, how does he get the, the meat then? But of course, I'm only human. I couldn't possibly risk it to the point where my body would hurt. I needed something more powerful. That's when I met the Red Scavengers. They never appeared before that? No, that's what's so strange. I knew late in spring, top to bottom, yet I'd never seen creatures like them. So what you need to do is investigate them. <laughs> They're obviously the reason. Unless I'm wrong. 
They're strong enough to withstand blizzards. They just don't have the energy to kill humans or move them around. So that's why you made the pact. Yes. I never really killed any humans myself though. The snowstorms did all the work for me. Well, not all the work. There are times the snow covers the corpse so much I have to get a shovel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been hard to spot them too lately. I don't know how long these demons can take without eating humans to survive. But if it's been so long as Crow is implying, they must have been desperate. And me conveniently passing by was the chance they needed. If that's the case, why am I different? From what I'm getting, it seems that you've been struggling with getting any humans in the area. Why leave me be? I was surprised myself. Question mark? You were the only one who asked for help. Well, the other ones were dead. How else was... Yeah. <laughs> you can't be serious. Unbelievable, right? Out of all the people who got stuck here, you were the only one who desperately tried to survive. I'm not... <laughs> I'll let it slide, though. But it's like, yeah, all the other ones were already dead, no? That made me curious about you. It made me respect you. Okay, then. Even though you arrived so incredibly unprepared, you still made everything you could with whatever you had at your disposal. Alright. Ah, f*** me for not bringing gloves, right? I think he may be giving me too much credit here. But I want to keep listening to him. You were so amazing. I just had to get to know you. And you ended up being so much more than I could have possibly expected. You want to know why I didn't feed to the red scavengers? You want to know why I didn't care about them anymore? Because I love you. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'll understand if you don't feel the same, of course. Even talking, taking into account my excuses. We only met about a week ago. All things. I don't let him finish that sentence. Excuse me? It's a very quick kiss, but it sh I was like, what? But it should have conveyed my feelings well enough. I must have won that, damn. That was quick. Girl doesn't say anything. <laughs> One. He just stands there. In shock. Red as a cranberry. I don't feel like teasing him right now, though. I'm, I'm nervous myself. I'll say something. Am I such a bad kisser? No. <laughs> no, it's just... It's... Is this really okay with you? I mean... Why wouldn't it be? Did you not hear what I said before? I did. I don't care. You said you loved me and gave you my answer. <sighs> <laughs> You'll be the death of me. Pro uh, I hope not. No, no foreshadowing. No foreshadowing. I really don't care what you did before. I don't care what you're doing to me or what you're going to do to me either. <gasps> Daredevil. I don't care that we've known each other for very little. I don't even care if every person in, in the world thinks we're a couple of deranged maniacs. The only thing I care about is you. I care about you and I want to be with you. Always. But no more lying bullshit. Or I would seriously punch you in the face. I would do that. The shoulder? Sure. The arm? Maybe. I can't stand being left in the dark. <laughs> you know, that dream was awful. God, you're so... You really don't mind that I'm such a crazy bastard? No. <laughs> Jokes on you, I'm into that shit. <laughs> I didn't even have to, like, add it myself. It was already in the script. Besides, I'm a crazy bastard myself. I'm a cuckoo bear. Or I will be anyway. Huh? huh? What do you mean? Take me to the red-eyed crow. It's time we see eye to eye. Uh. <sighs> Mission success? Day question mark?
Huh? You can't just say eight? The air feels so crisp and clean. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's the perfect day for a date in the woods. Crow tightens his grip on my hand and I squeeze back. <laughs> oh, you. You dog. Don't forget, we've got an errand to take care of first. Then we can enjoy the state as much as we want. Fine. I kiss him on the cheek. Being bold, aren't we? I'll get you later for that. I bet you will. Whatever do you mean? Bro shakes his finger at me. Tusk, tusk. We're gonna have to wait until we finish this job. Meanie. <laughs> Let's get let's get to I wanna punch that crow in the face to be honest. Just let's box real quick. Uh oh. After walking for a few minutes we arrive at the road next to the waking woods. Although the snow has buried part of their bodies, a couple of humans can still be seen lying on the ground. Ah uh, I I kinda wanted to box that bird, but hey. That's why I said question mark. A little less than last time. You think Rory would be okay with this much? What the fuck is Rory? Honestly, he has no right to complain after everything he did for him and his siblings. What did I do? Don't get mad. It's thanks to him that we have internet now. <laughs> we had to get it. We had to. Plus, well, not gonna lie, I think they actually enjoy sitting on top of power lines. Don't you think? Animal instincts must be true for demons, too. Ah. The cables are the only thing that makes sense to me. Mm hmm. I still don't understand how the wild right. What? Whatchamacallit works. Oh, the Wi Fi. Wi Fi, crow. Whatever. It's all mumbo jumbo. What's important? Is that it gets the job done. And I guess that YouTube stuff isn't bad either. Yeah, I would say. Come on, give me a little credit. Damn. Making all those advertisements wasn't easy. Oh, wow. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> I like this ending so far. And I promised I'd teach you all I know about the internet. Don't underestimate a freelance graphic designer. Yep, I know. He cuffs my face with his free hand and gives me a smooch. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I love pictures. I like looking at pictures. How should we deal with the bodies this time? Oh dang, I don't know. Let's get creative. <laughs> Let's take off their clothes first. What if Rory ruins them again? Who is Rory? Is that the name of the crow? I mean, you never know. They might have something useful. Ah, uh, you have such a beautiful mind. You might be so lucky. Oh shit! <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Oh my gosh, so cute. And what are we waiting for? Crow bows and signals me to go ahead with the one of his hands. After you. Thank you, sir. No way. That was so amazing. <gasps> the credits. Uh, the tears. Oh, I got the twisted ending. Yay. <laughs> so amazing. I want to check. I want to check. Go, go, go. Dang. How do I get the other ones then? Uh... All right, I need to- obviously I think one of them, I die, probably. And dang, I don't know about the other one. I can't- look, all I can think of is dying or, you know, doing that stuff. Or maybe escaping? That's a crazy one, right? Um, let's try to- dang, I'm gonna be sitting here for hours trying to figure it out. Um... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
one and bitch oh, one like that. It looks like he's a little closer than last time. Whatever. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Anyways, uh, this is the start of day seven again. And throughout the whole route, I was rather mean. Which kind of hurt me a little bit. But, you know, I got through it. I'm a tough cookie. <laughs> so, hopefully, everything past this is different. So, yeah. I didn't sleep a wink. How could I when I know there's a maniac just a few rooms away? Yeah, so the things we say are gonna be really, like, mean. Guarding the room door was a must. I'm glad I s it stopped snowing at least. No signs of another blizzard coming either. I look at my backpack. It's not filled to the brim, but still full nonetheless. Since I hadn't been able to sleep anyway, I'd made the most of my time by packing my clothes and a few other things. Yeah. We are so dead set on leaving now. Definitely. I also changed, like, my food preference, so a lot of the foods were different. I got, like, pumpkin soup, um, and curry rice. That was the only difference. <laughs> this has included my water bottle, the knife I picked up yesterday, a couple of granola bars from the kitchen, and gloves. Oh, with the glove choice, I said I would give it back to him, too. Guess I'm keeping them after all. Yeah. Whatever, no time for sentimentality. If I'm going to escape, it has to be now. Uh-oh. Alright, this is all different. Okay, there's something I really, really important I have to tell you. Too late for that now, crow boy. I guess you're still mad at me. Listen, I'll be waiting in the living room. Oh, this time it's the living room. I guess it's the room? Depends on the ending you get. I don't know yet. This is only the second one. Because last time, you know, we were in his room room. God damn it, of course he's going to wait over there. Can't have me leaving through the window again, can he? No. I mean, I could always force the keyhole from the entrance with my knife. That's gonna take forever. No. It would make a lot of noise and Crow could catch me before I even managed to break it. I'll have to escape from the window in in this room. It's smaller. A bit higher than the one in the living room. And let's not forget much sturdier too. The degenerate from two nights ago did not appreciate almost breaking their hands. Basically, it's a, it's a pain to open. <laughs> but I've got no other choice. It's the only way. Sigh. Gotta pray it has a similar system to the living room window. I don't want to is resort to plan B this early on. Oh shit, what's plan B? No more dawdling. The faster I get away from this cabin, the better. I put on my jacket and get to work. I'm very content with the ending I got the first time though. So, yeah. These are just for fun at this point. Once my feet touch the snow, I break into a run. Not the smartest, but hey. Okay, I've arrived at the place where I found that strange symbol. That has to be the key to getting out, no doubt about it. Carefully, I take a few minutes to search every nook and cranny in the area surrounding me. Just, like, cover it with snow or something, I don't know. Just to be safe, I make sure to check more than once. Heck, I even crawl on all fours despite the ground being freezing. I'm that desperate. I bite my gloved thumb. Think, what are you forgetting? Think. Does it have anything to do with the red-eyed crow? Yesterday, I vaguely remembered that the symbol suddenly disappeared after he flew off. A swift flapping noise makes me look up. Uh-oh. Although the faded and misty air prevents me from fully distinguishing the silhouettes on the trees, I can still make out several pairs of red eyes staring at me. Of course, the damn bird had friends. We're gonna die right now. I don't know if it's intuition, self-preservation, instinct, or six, or a sixth sense. But everything in my body tells me to get the hell out of here. They should have pecked us to death. Like, we deserve it for doing this. I stayed there way too long. Crow definitely knows I left already. But I can't go back to the cabin. Where do I go? Due to a long bout of un something air in the close of the public. Oh, the village. Most, if not all, of the houses look pretty run down, but maybe, just maybe, I can use one of them as a hiding 
as a hiding spot until they figure out how to leave this place. I might even find some more clues. Didn't have much of a chance before with the blizzard and all. Right. Right as I finish mulling this over, a sudden chill running up the back of my neck gives me the shivers. It's familiar, yet unsettling, like the weird sensation of deja vu. The unmistakable, relentless feeling that I'm being watched, that I'm being mocked for having the slightest bit of hope. You won't escape, you'll never escape. Whether it's the red-eyed crows somehow sending me a telepathic message, my own negative thoughts, or something else entirely, I'm not sure. Whatever it is, I don't care. I reject them all the same. I want to escape, huh? We'll see about that. Yeah, let's go here. Dumb. Good, seems like I'm not too late. No signs of any type of crow, bird, or human. The village looks exactly like it did yesterday, sinister and devoid of any souls. I can still hide in one of these houses, maybe even find some clues if I'm lucky. I hug myself and rub my arms vigorously. It's getting colder. We're gonna die out here. You've got this. It's gonna be okay. Sure. There's no way of knowing if that's true. But I say the words out loud, both to encourage and calm myself down. I'd better hide at the ones that's, that's farthest away from Crow's cabin. Still, I have to inspect the other houses to see if I find anything. I walk to the furthest house. Oh no, the first house nothing not even furniture the second house doesn't fare any better it has a couple of chairs at least but nothing even remotely similar to a clue that could help me the cycle continues the ho houses three and four are quite similar to the second one a few worn out tables that have been that have seen better days chairs so rotten they're probably not even suitable for sitting on a very very old hearth House number four did have a desk with drawers, but nothing really of note inside them. It's getting colder, I better eat something to get some warmth. I grabbed two granola bars from my backpack and scarf them down. Dang, you couldn't save one? <laughs> that hit the spot. Snowflake, where are you? <laughs> okay. Yo! I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, we knew this was gonna happen. Let's just continue. Right as I'm about to leave house number four, I heard the distinct yet pal palpable? Yes. Voice of the man I'm running away from. That's not good. He's getting closer. Almost as if we're a sort of rich. Oh god. As if it were. A sort of ritual after how many times I've done it by now. I leave through one of the windows instead of the front door. And of course I trip like an idiot. Unfortunately, because of my urgency, I didn't notice the wooden fence right below. and end up crashing into it. Hmm. <laughs> ah, what was that sound? <laughs> no. I thought we were just going to freeze to death out here. What a surprise. Nice surprise. There you are. Shit. It breaks my heart that you'd go so far- Go as far as to escape from the cabin after everything I did for you. Not to mention how dangerous it is to wander by yourself. Oh yeah, because the holy mother of lettuce here isn't dangerous at all. This whole lettuce thing is like so mean. I just wanted to talk. God, just- Yeah, I'll just leave me alone. <laughs> Everything I'm saying right now is lies, so. Why did you even find me so quickly? This area is huge. Crow doesn't answer right away. We know why, though. We're, we're smart. Instead, he paces around for a few seconds. And stops right in front of me once again. How indeed. I hate being a party pooper. <laughs> but I'm a little disappointed you're asking that. When you figured so much already. Figured out so much already. I have not figured out anything. In this route. Well, yeah. Because we don't actually talk. His voice is playful, but there's a certain edge to it that chills me to the bone. 
His eyes are cold, even colder than the frosty winter air. Not that it will change anything, but, well, if you must know, a little birdie told me. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> uh oh. Run, move your legs, you have to stand up. Mm. Do we have to? But perhaps saying they showed me would be more accurate. Details. I kick and flare repeatedly in an embarrassing attempt to get up from the ground, but to no avail. This reminds me of something. So <laughs> Even trying to reach my backpack to take out the knife, which shouldn't even take more than five seconds, seems to be an impossible feat. What's happening? Why oh, don't I have any string? Oh no. <laughs> Would you look at that? Yeah. Seems the opium poppies are already kicking in. Oh. I don't remember the lot. I was about to say, I don't remember the last time I ate your food. I do actually, we just numbed on them. What? <laughs> you really thought I wouldn't notice you sitting food from the kitchen? Oh god. I figured you'd grab something easy to manage. Like the granola bars you stole yesterday. But I couldn't be sure which snacks you'd end up choosing, so... You probably just drugged all of them. I just added the powder to all of them. Yay! What about the bird? I gave it to the bird last time. Oh my god, you drugged me? Uh. Drug is a very strong word. I'm just putting you to sleep for a little while. Nice. I feel myself getting weaker. And from the look on your face, it seems I won't have to wait much longer. And weaker. <laughs> <laughs> to think a little plant could be so powerful. Right? So intense. <laughs> And weaker, to the point where it hurts to keep my eyes open. Isn't nature just amazing? Yeah. <laughs> the last thing I hear before passing out is the howling winter air and the sound of crow's ma maniacal laughter. I got it. Uh oh. My head's killing me. What happened? We died. Kidding, 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 kidding. <laughs> this is... I found myself surrounded by the same type of wood. Wooden walls as the one from the room I stayed in the past few days. Unlike my previous chambers, though. This bedroom has a lot of books. And will look like a research paper. So the point where I could... It could be said it's a little messy. Even the desk at the far end is drowned in them. A couple of paintings make the place look slightly more cheerful, but not by much. The most distinguishable ones are the crow painting, and the one with a couple of white flowers remind me of snowdrops. What makes the room look rather sinister is the odd choice of jars. Jars containing herbs and other med medicinal plant stuff. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead! <laughs> hmm? How do you feel? Amazing. Although I try to move away from him immediately, my body has different plans. <laughs> Feisty, aren't we? Sorry to say you won't be able to move much right now. Don't you dare call me that, you lettuce shithead. What the hell did you do to me? Nothing much, just need a little guarantee that you wouldn't be running away the moment you woke up. Again, might I add? <laughs> you drugged me, great. Again! Might I add? I'm glad I still had some powder left from the last batch I made. Tying people up is not really my style, you see. That's a shame. I spit in his face? Why? Well, well I'll be. That's not very nice. Yeah, I know. I hate this. Bro wipes his cheek. At least wait until I get a test tube. I don't want to waste it. Right. <laughs> He puts my spit inside a small glass container. 
Okay. I can't wait to analyze this. Wonder how many... Um, what? Amy laces you have? What? You're sick in the head. Am I? Guess love makes you do crazy things. This is the first for me. Oh, but... come on. <laughs> You're making me sad, Snowflake. You know how sad I am right now? I hate this so far. Would you give me an answer to my confession of love? This isn't love, it's pure obsession. Is that so? I'm afraid I don't see the difference. <laughs> so funny! My gosh. I regret having to do this. <laughs> if this is how you treat people you love, I don't want to know what you do to people you hate. People I hate? People. <laughs> <laughs> Girl bites his lips, barely able to contain his laughter. It depends on what you consider to be people. No. Surely you're pulling my leg here. Well, I may have ensured no one would bother us, but be it people or something else entirely. Oh, you mean the bird? Yes! I feel the color leave my face, even though I'm certain they weren't on my side either. This isn't what I wanted. That's... shame. I'm glad I did it right the first time. My stomach does a flip. Did you do something to the crows? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> scared me a little bit. <laughs> Girl roars with laughter, not being able to contain it any longer. I had no choice, Snowflake. They wanted to take you away from me. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I know why now. So that's that's perfectly fine. Can you believe it? They actually had the nerve to demand I give you to them. Those abominations aren't even real crows. What an insult to Mother Nature. <laughs> the Red King should really have thought the blood packed over. It's his own fault for not knowing who he was messing with. In any case, I'm sure he got the message by now. I don't think he can leave my pantry anyway. Oh, if they're just in there? What? Oh. Just him, maybe. Either way. I bet he's glad he doesn't have to share food with his siblings. Bro approaches the bed and puts his hands on either side of my head. You don't Ooh. have to worry about anything. Ooh. I'll protect you. Okie dokie. I'll take care of you. Always. Forever. And always. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was kind of good. Kind of. But not like completely. Oh, thank you. Now I have to figure out how to get the other one. Cause there's two. There were there were two. So and I got one. Yandere ending. Yay! <laughs> this is fun so far. I like this. Okay. God, now I have to figure out how to get the last one. A few moments later. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we are back. This time I was super like, you know, nice and stuff, but not like the way I was the first time because I was sort of like <laughs> you know desperate and stuff like that so but this i was like more nice but still a little all that stuff i chose vegan i think the only thing that changed was the sandwich because it had cheese on it so yeah but now we acted nicer and i think our attitude towards him is more like oh we don't really want to leave but we want to like help him or something in a way that's that's our attitude well, let's see what happens from from here yeah anyone who says sleep is for the weak doesn't know the pain of insomnia i'm glad i could get four hours at least especially with everything that's happened we also always still leave so i hope we don't run away in this one 
Supernatural or not, Crow definitely has a few red flags. I'm not stupid. <laughs> but there's no denying he's suffering as well. Yeah, you see? We're like... Because in the first time, we, we kind of just wanted to know answers. We just wanted answers, whatever. But this time, we'd want answers to help him. You know? I, I think it makes sense, yeah. The same can be said for me. Maybe that's why I feel so connected to him. In spite of everything else, we're both hurting. We both want good company. Someone we can be ourselves with. But yeah, we're not exactly super desperate to leave, so. And I just can't forget how happy he looked that night when he told me he wasn't lonely anymore. I think the reason why I dropped the plate was because deep inside I felt the same. I feel the same. Mm-hmm. But we can't really ignore the big ass elephant in the room, can we? This place does something to you. Nothing that's not quite right. And it's not just the supernatural. Being isolated from the whole world for a long time isn't healthy. I can't help Crow with all he's dealing with. I have my own demons to fight. But I can at least help him get out of here. Seems like we're gonna leave together. I have to talk to him now. Without wasting another moment, I head to the cabin's hallway. Yeah, no knocking. It's earlier than usual, but Crow should have woken up by now. Try the kitchen first. He's not here. That's odd. Did he go to the living room? Not here either. Maybe he's taking a shower? Why would we go in there? Uh oh. Does something happen to him? Why do I feel so uneasy? I give my cheeks a few slaps. I'm overthinking. This is not the time. See, his jacket is right here. Let's go to his room first. He could be he could just be sleeping. I take a few steps forward and stop right in front of his door. Crow, are you awake? We have a pantry. Let's remember that he has a pantry that we have not been in. Silence. One more time. <laughs> Bro? Uh-oh. For the first time since I came here, I finally got a glimpse of Crow's room. We know about the jars and stuff. I sit on the mattress to take a closer look at the painted crow and snowdrop flowers. His art skills are amazing. I bet he drew the crows from the book he lent me too. He's not here either. But he must be... Huh? My foot hits something under the bed. I crouch and take... Uh oh, this is this the pantry? I take what looks to be another one of his paintings. This... What lies in the canvas is none other than... Me! Pro, oh my gosh, so sweet. I feel my eyes watering, but I don't let the tears fall just yet. I put the canvas back under the bed. When I stand up straight, once again, I notice an open book on top of the light table. A, bo a book with a red cover. Uh-oh. I was so focused on the paintings I didn't notice. Isn't this the one I skimmed a few days ago? Or I must have bought it back here. He did say it wasn't finished yet. Uh oh. The red scavenger's blood packed. I see, so that's what the red, that red eyed crow was called. Rule one You must not tamper with the sacred symbol nor the force field. Doing so will result in your death. Oh! This might be bad. Well, I'm alive, so this must only apply to the person the pact affects. This is gonna be awful. I did get a bit get a bit thrown about though. Rule number two. You must provide human offerings to the scavengers at every full moon or once their sanctity of the previous offering subsides. Well there's more than one crow then. Rule number three. You shan't let any scavengers perish from lack of offerings. The responsibility to keep them fed lies upon you. Failure to do so will result in your death. Oh. You must not harm the Red King. 
Doing so will break the pact, but also result in your death. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Don't tell me. I have to leave now. This is bad. I hate this. After putting on my jacket and gloves, I head towards the cabin's front door. I inspect the blue fabric first. No. My heart beats faster. I feel like I can't breathe. This isn't the jacket he always wears. I could have been so stupid. Oh my gosh. He put- he planted a fake jacket? What the f- It's grow. Of course he would put some- pull something like this. Although I know it's futile, I grab the door handle and pull it with all my strength. Don't panic. <laughs> Let's try the living room window. Why? Break it. Are you serious? It won't budge. I go through all the rooms. I go through all the windows. But no matter how hard I pull, no matter how hard I try, not a single one of them opens. I kick the front door. Ah, damn it. What do I do? At this rate, yeah, he's gonna die, and it's gonna be awful. I feel my eyes watering again. Only this time my knees get up and I crumple to the floor. This is awful. Unable to compose myself, unable to muffle my screams. He's gonna die. He's gonna die and I can't do anything to stop it. What's this? Ah! I look down at where I just stepped. When I'd fallen to my knees earlier, I accidentally moved the edge of the carpet. Yes! I step on the floor once again. It sounds hollow. Ah, oh, it was right there. <laughs> is this what I think it is? It's a pantry! I knew we were gonna find it. Holy shit, it's a pantry. A pantry in the in the basement. Of course, Crow would have done this. Uh, I wonder, does it have another door? Oh, I guess this answers my question. Okay, time to go. For real. Hopefully we have a coat on. <laughs> the more I run, the more feathers and blood I see scattered, scattered on the snow. Me not saying nothing? Kidding! Several scavengers. Vulnerable. Exposed. Lifeless. I guess the pack didn't say they couldn't perish in other ways. Still, this is too much. So much. Oh, it's the bird! Yo, box that nigga, bro. No, don't. Actually, don't. When I arrive, Crow was holding a knife in his hand. The red-eyed bird stares at him without so much as blinking. You are making a grave mistake. I know. On the contrary, I should have done this a while ago. Because I'm done with your bullshit. Rory, we figured out. So it is the crow. But I... Connected dots. What are you doing here? What? What do you mean? What am I doing here? I've been looking for you everywhere. And you shouldn't have. You're supposed to stay in the cabin. Ha, had a feeling because you locked all the windows. You have to be so stubborn. It's meaningless if you. Shut up. I'm not speaking for you right now. I've had it with your lies, your evasive answers, and your extreme ways to keep me safe. Keep Summer safe? You never tell me anything. Did my words yesterday mean nothing to you? No. You always, always do what you think is best for me. But not once have you stopped to consider what I'd say. Have you? No. I feel my eyes sting. Oh no, Crow is great. Crow is perfect. Of course he knows what's best for little old degenerate. My vision starts to get blurry. Sure the degenerate won't mind. Sure the degenerate will appreciate it. It's for their sake after all. As another teardrop threatens to roll down my cheek, I hide my face in my hands. Yeah. Please tell me something. 
what would you dying even accomplish? You'd be set free. That's sort of true. And how is sacrificing yourself going to set me free? Pro doesn't answer. I don't want that. I really don't want that. Like, I really don't want that. That is not how you solve problems. Nito doesn't answer. Instead, he clenches his fist. There's this word. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Seeing how you're so knowledgeable. I start getting closer. Uh-oh. Perhaps I need to remind you of it. And closer. Because I have this teensy tiny suspicion that the meaning might have slipped your mind. And closer. It's called communication. <laughs> Until I'm <laughs> at a close enough distance to hug him with all of my might. His hands fidget in the air. I'm really sorry. You're right. You've heard about everything. It's just, when I thought about what they might do to you, I completely lost it. How do you keep it to yourself? Why indeed? I guess it's a reflex at this point. A reflex. <laughs> a reflex? I'm so used to handling things myself that I just never thought you would care enough to trust me. You're different from anyone I've ever met. Quirky even? I, I don't think you would have rejected me entirely, but I... I was scared. He doesn't need to say it out loud. This whole demeanor is proof enough. I squeeze Crow's back, although he still doesn't hug me. I feel his hands touching my shoulders. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met someone with as many red and green flags as him. You are a mess. Mm-hmm. So am I. Just as I can I can't fix you, you can't fix me either. I look at him in the eye. But we can try to heal together. One step at a time. And this is all happening while the crow is just standing there. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself here. I know we haven't known each other for that long. I know it, and yet I haven't felt as close to another person as I felt with you. Maybe it's cheesy to say this, but these past few days, I feel like we formed a connection. I love you, Crow. I need you here alive. Let's figure this out together. Please? Pretty please? Okay. There's no more hesitation when I feel his arms wrap around my back. Really? <laughs> After a small pause, Crow pulls back gently. He brings his hand to my face and wipes a tear from my cheek. Cross my heart and hope to die. Hmm, I thought we established that we're not doing that. Well, maybe not the die part. Yeah, thank you for fixing that. I laugh. He starts leaning in. <laughs> I close my eyes and feel his lips press to mine. Okay. We smile and touch our foreheads together. Are you quite done yet? Ew. <laughs> My god, I forgot he was here. Uh. <laughs> Good. Now, what is it you intend to do after you cease your murdering spree? So you're finally done then. And what of you, human? You never even cared to heed my warnings. I think the word you're looking for is manipulation. I see it now. What you were trying to do. You wanted to keep me out of the house so I could die in the blizzard. And the next day, Crow would find me and be completely devastated. Finish the contract himself. Mm-hmm. Killing two birds with one stone. The irony. You know my words about him being a liar were the truth, though. Do you not? You're a Yapatron, bro. He still provided us with human offerings. He probably intended to do the same with you at some point. Mm. Perhaps he did not need to kill them himself, seeing as the snowstorms did the work for him. But he still prepared the meat. Oh wow. So I didn't know he was gonna do that. I thought he just gave him to you guys. <laughs> I think back to the past few days. Crow's lies, Crow's evasiveness when talking about certain topics. His research, his adamant behavior to keep me safe, his hesitant and painful gaze. 
the feeling of being watched, the eternal winter, the abandoned village, the blood pact itself. Yes, Rory. I know. And seeing how the amount of people coming to this area was getting lower and lower, you both must have been desperate. Do I think it was right? No, I don't. But, think back again. The warmth of Crow's food, the way his eyes twinkle when he's happy, the way he, his cheeks blush when he's feeling shy, the way he smiles at me. Well, that is something for him and I to talk about and solve ourselves. So it's none of your business. You stupid bird. Rory pauses for a moment before answering. Quite the feisty one, are you not? Yes. We can agree on that at least. Indeed. Um, not gonna lie, Rory, I kinda expected more backlash. Don't crows usually care about what happens to their flock? Perhaps. But I am sure you have noticed I am no crow. At least not entirely. While I indeed care for my brothers and sisters, what's done is done. Partaking in a battle I can't win would be a waste of my time and their memory. Good. I guess I understand where he's coming from, but where does that leave Crow and me? What will you do now? Rory sighs and gazes at one of the nearby trees. There's no point in me remaining in Winter Hollow. It does not provide as many offerings anymore. Hmm. Therefore, I think it is time for me to migrate to a different area altogether. Mission accomplished. He turns back to us once again. Bird, demon, or human? One has to learn to adapt. So, no more partial migration? No more partial migration. Wait a second, what about the blood pact? The symbol, the force field. It will all be nullified the moment I take flight. Will that hurt Crow? I hold Crow's hand and interlock his fingers with mine. He squeezes back. It will not kill him if that's is what you're afraid of. Uh, duh. What the f***? Yeah. I breathe a sigh of relief. However, he will still have to suffer the consequence of his actions. A deal with a demon is no joke. Once the pact is nullified, it will remove whatever he gained from it. I think you probably have an idea of what it is, do you not? What? Just the cabin? <laughs> I feel Crow's gaze on me. It glows red. Uh-huh. Charming yet mysterious. And I can't look away. His red eyes. There were a few times when I was outside the cabin, and you weren't with me, that I felt someone's presence, someone's watching me. That was you, wasn't it? Mm hmm. That is correct. Does that mean his eyes will go back to the way they were before? Or will he become blind? <laughs> Not completely blind. I will only be able to see red. Well, black and white and red, to be more specific. A bit ironic, if you think about it. Still, it's the price to pay for messing with the supernatural. We won't be able to see nature the same way ever again. Don't worry. I'm fine with it. Really. So sad. <laughs> no! But I mean, at least you can see. That's... That still is good. That is not all he will lose. What? There's more? What other things did he ask for? Knowledge? Knowledge oh, yeah, 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 yeah. About nature. But Mind you, not what I can learn myself from books and my own observation. But, as you know, there is a limit to what one can learn from this alone. It will never compare to what it's like to receive information directly from the source. So even if he wrote it down in books, it'll like disappear? Information that no human could possibly achieve by regular means. You're really willing to give it, give all that away. Crow looks surprised for a second. My god, dog is like, bark, bark all the time, bark. Like, <laughs> but almost immediately his expression changes from that of a smile. Don't worry about it. Besides, don't you think it's more exciting to discover new things and have all sorts of experiences? 
I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna quit my job. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Let's all. <laughs> I'm gonna quit my job and do something I really want to do with my life. Maybe move to a different neighborhood or a new area even. Will you come with me? Bro caresses the back of my hand with his thumb. Okay. Always. Okay. <laughs> Tightening the grip on your, our hands, we take one last glance at Rory, the former Red King, before he takes off. Um, what's that word? Cerulean? Yeah. A cerulean blue paints the sky. It makes it seem rejuvenated. Yeah. No clouds, no gray. Just the touch of the breeze. Oh, he has blue eyes? <laughs> but is... Oh my gosh. Is really the same sky if the people... I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so majestic. But is it really the same sky if the people who look at it have changed? What do the birds who migrate think about when flying in its currents? What do they... What do they feel as they follow the wind? That will take them to a new home. Ah! Perhaps we're not so different from animals. It will always be uncertainty in the decisions we make. Uh, mission accomplished. There will always be a gnawing feeling of dread. But it is... <laughs> it is in those times when having someone by your side, someone you can share your truth self with, remind you of one very important thing. You are not alone. You're never alone. I did it. Oh my gosh. Now. The ending was very nice. It was. You can feel the butt coming. But. Um, I really liked this one more. Sue me. Arrest me, officer. Arrest me. <clears throat> anyway. Look, you see, organized um, the first ending, second ending, third ending, in case I want to come back to it any time to, you know, get the memory back. But yeah, oh my god, I finished it. Wow. Got all three endings. That was so great. Of course, my favorite ending is a twisted one. Duh. Duh. But. What is it called? The sweet ending is still very nice. I don't hate any of them, to be honest. I I mean, I kind of dislike the Yonder ending because we're so mean in that one. That's the only thing that I hate about it, is that we're mean to him. I'm, I'm fine with that, if, with the Yonder ending, but I would never be able to get it if I wasn't mean, so. But yeah, that was, um, <laughs> that was Winter Crows. I enjoyed it very much. I was so excited for it. Um, if it took forever, I apologize. You know, I have to, like, I have to do so much. It takes time to get these videos out, and I apologize if I'm being slow. Okay, I apologize. Anyways, though, besides that, um, <laughs> if you guys enjoy the video, a like would be very much appreciated. And of course, subscribe, because... I play all types of stuff anyway, so you're interested in more games just like this? That's that's your cue to subscribe. Um and with all that being said, I will see you guys next time.